Hi, I'm Chris Jones, Director of Talent Acquisition and Recruitment at Kendall College of Art and Design. Now I just want to take a few minutes to explain a little bit more about the Statement of Purpose essay. Now you might be writing a lot of those essays for college applications. I want you to think about ours a little bit differently. The biggest deal for me is that you write things that really matter to you. The first one is what am I most passionate about? What am I most curious about? What you're passionate about is authentic. Um, it's not what your folks or your art teacher or anybody around you wants you to say. I want to hear what you find most exciting, what you can do on your off time, like for hours and hours on end. Uh, what you're curious about is really important because um, it's something that's drawing you into the future, something that's exciting and you want to tackle and chase after. The second one is a little bit more of a humble question. What are you good at? And I'm not saying perfect, because a lot of students are nervous that they have to have a perfect portfolio, perfect artwork. I'm not talking about perfection at all. I just want you to look at your skills and abilities and tell me what you're getting better at and what you're making progress in. So not perfection, but progress. The third one is, how does art um, surround you in your life? Tell me about your influences and who contributes to your view of art and design. Uh, what do you read? What do you look at? What artists inspire you? And I'm not talking about like, you know, substantial artists that you think I want you to write down. I want you to write down artists that really impact you. So if it's your uncle who was a graphic designer growing up, then tell us a little bit about that uncle and how he affected your view of art. Um, or if it's an artist that you found online that you're crazy about, put that person down. Or if you go to museums, if you go to shows, if you love movies, how does art surround you in your life? And then the fourth question I think is really important and it's a little bit more of a, 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 a deep question. So I, I want you to spend a little time thinking about it. According to your worldview and the things that you love and care about, the things that convict your mind and heart, what does the world need? And what does the world need to flourish? To flourish is different than just basic survival. To flourish means to have an enriched life experience. Uh, what do you care about and what does the world need more of? So what does the world need? Does the world need water, food, shelter, education, justice? For sure, yes, of course. Those are big, heavy needs that the world has. And if, if that really matters to you, then I want you to put those things in your essay. But I also want you to take that word need and make it very personal. So does the world need stories? culture, celebration of beauty, exploration, honest reflection of the human experience and the brokenness of some parts of our society, sustainable products that don't end up in landfills for thousands of years, honest and elegant, beautiful, inspirational communication. Does the, I mean, I want you to make it really personal and I want you to write down according to how you feel. I don't want you to create some fluff that doesn't really reflect your real life or thinking. Uh, when I read these essays, I want to get to know what's really important to you and what you bring with you when you join Kendall. So answer those questions, submit them to KCAD admissions at ferris.edu, and I look forward to getting to know you through this essay. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. I'd be happy to, to explain a little bit more.